Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is the Dynamic Sean's View Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. You know, I've been getting a lot of comments and messages. Sean, where is Ric Flair? How is the WWE going to use Ric Flair? When's Ric Flair going to return? We've been hearing all rumors and news and headlines and speculation. Ric Flair is going to be on television, a special enforcer, general manager, referee, whatever. Ric Flair, where is he? He's supposed to be on the side of The Miz, on the side of Dolph Ziggler. He's supposed to help out a young star's career. He's supposed to bring back the four horsemen, a group, a stable, Whatever it is. Well, this report just has me scratching my damn head. And this goes to show you the absolute stupidity and the mentality of the WWE creative team in 2014. Now, I'm not here to knock and criticize the WWE creative team. Then again, maybe I am. Because listen to this one, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, listen, I, I know how hard the creative has it. I know how tough it is. I'm, I'm, I'm not a creative writer, but I understand the stress. I understand how hard it is to write a three-hour show and then SmackDown main event and the pay-per-views. I understand where they're coming from. I have talked to people in the know about just how strenuous on the mind it is and how you stop playing games with your mind after being on the creative team for a while. But this is where they've run out, run out of ideas. This is where, you know... There's nothing left for creative to come up with. Because listen, to, let me just get to the report here so you know where I'm coming from because I don't, so I don't sound stupid. The Wrestling Observer Newsletter is reporting that WWE Creative, and this is the reason why Flair hasn't been on television, WWE Creative, and this will give you their thought of mind, WWE Creative still has not come up with an idea on how to use Ric Flair on WWE television. Which is why he hasn't been on TV since that segment with Renee Young several weeks back. The original idea behind bringing him into Richmond that night was to start a direction that would see him used as a reg regular character once again. But, as was just said, Creative has no idea on how to use Ric Flair on Monday Night Raw. If this doesn't give you some kind of reasonable thinking if this doesn't give you some kind of idea about who's on the creative team if you take a man who as who is as influential and as colorful as Ric Flair a two-time Hall of Famer one of the most amazing in-ring performers of all time one of the greatest world champions in professional wrestling history a man that has made a mark on the sports entertainment industry you have Ric Flair, a legendary phenomenon. And what does creative say? What do they think about? They have no direction. They don't know how to use Ric Flair. They don't know what to do with Ric Flair. You know what? For the first time, Sean's View Entertainment is absolutely speechless. 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 I would be horrified. I would be embarrassed if I were on the current creative team with a bunch of people sitting around a table, have Ric Flair's name in front of your freaking face, and you say you have no idea how to use Ric Flair. Wow. That takes the freaking cake. I'll tell you that right now. Unbelievable. Subscribe.